Hello, you are listening to the Natural Healing Show for UK Health Radio. I'm your host, Catherine Kerrigan, medical intuitive healer and Amazon number one best-selling author. You can find out more about me and my work at KatherineKerrigan.com and UnlimitedEnergyNow.com. While you're there, definitely sign up for my newsletter so you can learn even more about how you can heal yourself naturally. If you're on YouTube, definitely follow me on YouTube and find out a lot about natural healing. Now, our guest today is Nadine Purdy. Nadine Purdy is in Costa Rica, and she is the founder of Cambo Casita and a plant medicine facilitator and teacher. Welcome, Nadine Purdy. Hello, Catherine. Thanks very much for having me. Um, and very, a little nervous and a little, very excited to be here. It's um, all good, all good. You're gonna do great. And for our audience, you can find out more about Nadine Purdy and her wonderful work at her website, cambocasita.com. So welcome, Nadine Pur Purdy. So Nadine Purdy, you're a plant medicine facilitator working with a number of plant medicines. What exactly is Cambo? Okay, so Cambo is the Phila Medusa bicolor frog. It's quite, um, it's also known as the monkey frog and it has several different other names that the indigenous call it. Sapo, Dokat, um, Kampu, uh, there's, 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 various other names to it as well. It's a large green frog that lives um, mainly in the Amazon, um, mostly Peru and Brazil. Um, and it lives in the, the top of the trees and it comes down when it's, when it's raining and, or, and to mate. Um, and for, we don't know how long, but thousands of years indigenous tribes, about eight of them on the border of the Jura River, um, which borders between Peru and um, Brazil, um, and also in, it's also in Suriname as well, but there's nearly no indigenous tribes that, that, that use it, but it's mainly Peru and Brazil, and there may be one Colombian tribe, I'm not sure exactly um, who they are, but they mainly use it for for hunting because kombu it, it gives them it gives them energy um power you know they, they believe that it takes away um bad luck um depression well they don't call it depression but like when the malaise or, or laziness um and it it it's it's not a drug it's not a poison it, it, it's 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 not a venom it is a series of bioactive peptides that, um, I mean, they've isolated some of them, they've patented like 70 of them, which is what the, the, the um, cosmetic companies actually have been, have been using. Um, there's not enough real study on it. There's probably hundreds of these peptides and they work through the lymphatic system and, they, it, and it, it does various things. Um, the mo what, what the most that it does is that it resets and boosts the immune system. So it's the reset is the really important word because with with say autoimmune, you know, you're thinking, well, hey, it's gonna it, if it boosts your immune system, this is not a good thing, but it's actually resetting. Um, yeah, and and honestly, they they're they're combo has no known um, natural predators. Um, but, and, and there's people say that the, 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 the secretion, which comes out of the, the legs and the, and the side of the body is, is for their protection. But what they've actually found is that they put it over their body to, 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 um, not get sunburned or protect them to protect them from the sun. So some of the indigenous people that I've spoken to believe that Kambo was sent to the earth to help. To, to, to help human beings. Um, but again, most of the, you know, in, in, in the indigenous tribes, it's really, um, except in the Santa Daimi tradition, which is part of where some of my teachers are from, 
Um, they don't really use it for healing, and 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 because it, they're very, they're they're very simple people. They don't have Western maladies, so you know, for them, the healing is the the bad luck going away and the energy to be able to be out there and and hunt at night. Um, so Nadine Purdy, you are the founder of Combo Casita in Costa Rica and also a plant medicine facilitator and teacher. How did you personally get involved with Canvo? Wow, well, that's an interesting story. You know, I never, I never intended or had aspirations of being a healer, uh, a shaman, you know, any, any of this. I had a, um, a long run with, with drugs, with heroin, with crack cocaine, um, you know, my, my, my history. Um, I was, I was just a, a mess. And I, and I, and once I got sober, I really kind of had no choice. Um, I, I was very sick. I had hepatitis C, Epstein-Barr, um, Lyme disease, like so bad that I was going through symptoms of seizures and, and loss in time and awful, like, chronic fatigue. I mean, you name it, I couldn't work. I was depressed. I had stomach issues. I mean, it just was one thing after another. And I, I prayed, actually. I was looking for an alternative because my doctors were telling me that I had to go on interferon and all this. And, and I'm not really a believer in, 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 they call it allopathic medicine, pharmaceutical medicines. It's just, I mean, I don't even really take aspirin. And soon after that, I met a man from Mapia, Brazil, named C.G. Matos. And he said, you need to do combo. And I'm like, combo, what's combo? I looked on the internet. I asked people about information. Basically nobody, nobody really knew what combo was. And somehow I was just, I knew that it was for me. And I was like, it's natural, I'm gonna try it. What's the worst thing that could happen? I could die? Well, they're telling me that I'm gonna die of cirrhosis of the liver anyway. Mm. So we started doing treatments with him, which combo at that time, um, combo is, works through the lymphatic system. So we burn to the third layer of the skin, which is very, very like, uh, I'm just gonna think of the word, it's very mild. I mean, basically you're taking away dead skin. If you go any farther, then it's not, it dissipates and it's really not, the peptides aren't going through, through, the, through the limbs. Um, and I did lots and lots of treatments. Um, and it was, um, I mean, the only word I can think of is it was quite gnarly because I was so sick. Mm -hmm. What was coming out of my body, I mean, was literally like scar tissue and toxins. And I, you know, there were times where I had, I hurt. Um, I would have to be, you know, I, and one time I had to be in, in, in bed for like three weeks. Um, and I also, you know, I, I, I can't say that combo actually, it was just combo that cured me and I'm not a doctor and I'm really not allowed to say that combo cures anything because it would, you know, you know, the whole practicing medicine without a license and this and that, but I have 18 years of experience and I, what I've seen through, through serving thousands of people has been miraculous. So then I went to the jungle in the Amazon and I did, a, I did a plant diet, which again, was, you know, I was out in the middle of the Amazon and I, it, 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 silent retreat, drinking ayahuasca and other plant medicines, like super, super deep. Like we weren't even use, allowed to use bug spray or we, we didn't eat. And I came back and I, I went to see my doctor and I got an ultrasound, which showed I had no more scarring on my liver. Wow. Uh, my viral load, which had been 75, uh, no, my, my, my liver functions, which had been 75, were now 40, which is better than average. My viral load was non-detectable. Mm -hmm. And my red blood cell count was the best that had ever been in my, in my whole life. Wow. And the doctor was dumbfounded. She was like, I mean, basically they thought it was somebody else's, uh, else's results. And funny enough, it wasn't my doctor who was there. It was a Colombian woman who was substituting for him. 
And she's like, well, what are you doing? And I said, well, I'm working with this frog called Kambu and drinking ayahuasca. And I did a plant diet and she knew, she knew what I was talking about. And she said, keep it up. Now, so, Nadine Purdy, what is the history of Kambu? Who discovered it? And for how many years has, it, it's not really a plant medicine. That's incorrect because it comes from a frog. So how many years has this frog medicine actually been used? Well, in, in, in the Amazon, in the indigenous cultures, who knows, thousands of years. I mean, um, what the, um, there's, there's a few different stories from the indigenous, but they, what they said was Kampu was a, a medicine man and he, he was an ayahuasca or whatever he was and his, um, his tribe or village, everyone was sick. And most likely, I, I, I think it was malaria, but who knows? So he goes into the jungle and he does a diet like I was talking about. And he was in there for who knows, 10 days drinking ayahuasca. And from what they say is that the spirit of the forest, the queen of the forest came to him and said, this will heal your people. Mm. And he went back and he used it and they got better. And I've actually, it's, what's very interesting is, is that with Kambo, I have had a lot of people who have come to me for treatment who have had dengue, chikungunya, Zika, like, you know, think the uh, mosquito borne diseases and viruses or whatever it is. Um, and they've had miraculous, miraculous results. So that's kind of the indigenous story. Um, you know, as you know, like I've worked with lots of different indigenous tribes for a lot of years and they don't really give out so much information. For, for them, it, what kind of like in Brazil, what, what they've experienced is that they share their secrets and then the pharmaceutical companies take them over, they synthesize it and they don't get anything. Now the Western history of combo. So in like 1925, there was a, a priest missionary who went to Jurua in, in Brazil and he experienced combo. I think he wrote a few papers on it, but nothing that was ever really, no, nothing really ever really transpired from it. And then the, there, there's three different kind of scenarios. So in the Katukina, um, the grandfather of Fernando Katukina, and God rest this man's soul, um, went into a Santo Daime community in Acre and they wanted, they wanted the ayahuasca, the Santo Daime, and they were willing to teach with the frog. And through that, there's uh, um, a man named Antonio Gomez and grandmother Clara Shinobu, who's one of the 13 grandmothers, were one of some of the first people that, were, that worked with Combo and realized, oh my, this is really helping people. And also like in the nineties, like rubber tappers were going into Brazil and they, they, they started kind of discovering it. And it's been, you know, it's, it's really gotten, like I said, like when I first started with Combo, there was nothing on the internet. Now in the last few years, it's, it's gotten very popular um, and a little too popular actually because of these different various trainings and things that are going on. And, you know, Combo is actually a way of life as well. And, and you, it, you know, if you don't really know what you're doing, and for me, you know, this is this is my path, my way of life, and like it's a spirit, as is ayahuasca is, as are the plants of the forest. So it's really, you know, there's so many different variables that we really, you know, you can't learn how to be a combo provider and walk on this path in a 10-day class. It's just you know, it, it's, it's the indigenous people, it, it, it really, it blows their mind, you know, like the whole social media and all of that, you know, um, but you know, this is different strokes for different folks and different ideas. So Nadine Purdy, you've used combo, I believe you said for 18 years, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. By that definition, you would be a master healer. Um, so uh, I'm going to give you that compliment. Um, as somebody who's done natural healing for 28 years. So 
Um, okay, so what are the differences between the indigenous and the Western methods of using combo? Okay, so basically like the indigenous, they're all a little bit, a little bit different. Like uh, the Matsas who are Peruvian tribe, I, I went down and, um, and harvested with them um, they, it's the women serving the women, the men serving the men. Um, and I've seen children at two years old who have combo dots. Mm -hmm. They really, you know, there's a lot of misconceptions about how much combo they actually do. From what I saw, the women all do two dots and the men do, you know, maybe five. And they're also using fresh combo. And when we're, when we're talking about peptides, you know, that's when it's the strongest because after it's been exposed to the air or heat or water or something, it, 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 it can, it can weaken. Um, and, and they do punish their children <laughs> with their picture. Children are naughty and lazy. They give them combo, but they use it when they're hunting. Um, and the way that they, they also harvest the combo, um, the difference between the Peruvians and the Brazilians is the Peruvians actually tie up the frog. Um, and, with, when you're harvesting combo, the, the frog has to be like a really dark green. And it takes about three months for the combo to reactivate the peptides in its system. So, you know, I have seen, I've seen like the, 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 the Matsis chief healer sing to the, to, the, to the frog and it vibrates like it was the most amazing thing. I've, one of the most amazing things I've ever seen in my life and it gives it out freely. If it's been if it's tired and it doesn't have enough or it's been harvested already, then they're sticking things in their nose and they're, you know, it's, it's, it's just, it's not nice. It's not, um, whereas with the Brazilians, they hold the frog, they, they know the color, they have, you know, all the tribes, they tie something around their legs so that they also know that it's already, that it's already been, it's already been harvested. There's the, 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 the Katukina tribe um, they, you know, they're, they're kind of warriors. So they'll do large doses of combo. And it's from, from what I've been told and I don't understand it exactly comes kind of a religion for them. Um, but these tribes, they don't, they don't have Western maladies. The people in the jungle, they don't have cancer. They don't have drug addiction. They don't have methamphetamines. They don't have antidepressants. So for them, you know, they, they're, they're just not experienced enough with these maladies that come from the Western world. And, you know, there, there have been, some people have been harmed. There have been, you know, some fatalities because, you know, if you're on, on Xanax and you're addicted to Xanax and you go down and combos, you're purging everything out from that's, that's in your system, chances are you can have a seizure. It's yeah. just to, to be able to bridge the gap. And this is like, you know, what my kind of my life's work about it is to bridge the gap between the indigenous and the Western providers. And also to have, to have case studies and clinical trials, which is also, uh, it's, the, it's, it's in the works, but there's various things when you're doing clinical trials in order to, you know, preserve, to, to, to care for the wisdom keepers, to work with this medicine with integrity. Really, it's not about making money. Like, you know, I, I see, you know, massage therapists or what, who wanna like add this to their repertoire because it's like a big thing now and you only need to go to a 10 day training so you can make lots of money, you know? There's, there's, there's real ethics and integrity that are attached to this. So Nadine Purdy, let's go back to my question, my original question, which is what is combo? So combo itself is the frog and this medicine that we're talking about, is it a secretion from the frog or how we, can we explain that to our audience? So it's a secretion of bioactive, bioactive, uh, bioactivated peptides. Um, and in, in, now in, in, in the health, in the healthcare field, I mean, pe the bioactive peptides are very like they're, they're used in stem cells. They're used in all different types of, of, of healing for, for, for various diseases. So what they do is they take off, they take the secretion and they put it on, they put it on a stick. They let it dry. 
we take it and we apply water to it and and create the way that it's kind of looks like snot excuse my my expression but mucus okay. um and and we burn to the third layer to the lymphatic layer and we apply the combo in it and and basically if you get if you get it watery enough it'll just absorb straight into the system and then the peptides do their work i mean you vary there's various different um uh, scenarios with combo uh there's like you might feel pounding in your head you could turn really red um the vasodilation there could be um swelling which the inf inflammation and what's really interesting is that the person when you get inflammation then especially people with inflammation issues the inflammation goes away um vomit i mean there's all different ways of purging there's sweating there's vomiting there's it's not always pleasant there's going to the toilet there could be all three there could be shaking your body could feel electricity um and when you know we're serving it we we really go you know everybody's a case-by-case -case basis so some people are just boosting their immune system and other people have cancers and autoimmune diseases and various different other maladies so this ease um so we slowly bring people into it and 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 it's really you know it's recommended that you get three within a moon cycle um but there's other people who you know who have cancers or serious lyme disease where we need to we need to know their medical background we need to to you know like with lyme for lyme disease for instance like when a person's having a flare-up because it does it, we see candida all the time we see you know it kills parasites I and mean, I can look at a purge and pretty much tell you what's going on in your body, heavy metals. Um, yeah. <laughs> so combo, as we're talking about it, is a secretion of the, from the combo frog that is used therapeutically. And then you explained for our audience that this secretion from the combo frog has peptides. For our audience, Nadine Purdy, 18 years of experience with combo, what are some of the peptides that um, the combo um, shares with us and what are the therapeutic values or medicinal properties, natural healing properties of these specific peptides having to do with the combo? Okay. Um, uh. This is this is the same thing. I was like, I'm not I'm not such the scientist. My my uh, my assistants can tell you much more. I can tell you there's various peptides, um, and I don't even know if I'm saying it right. Demimorphine, which is I don't know how how many times stronger than morphine. So it it works like in the in the pain receptors. Um, the various different peptides work through in the immune system. So there's like 50 different cells in the, in the immune system. And it like, it, they, they boost the, 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 um, the production of, of, uh, of, or, or they help like the killer cells like that will, um, shrink tumors and various other things. And if, if when, when, if you Google combo, like there's, 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 it, it lists all of the ones that have been discovered and what they do um, and the patents that are on the 70 different ones. I mean, there's so many peptides with combo and, and it, it being an intelligent medicine that it is, it just goes and it works through in, in so many different, different ways. Now, uh, you've worked with combo Nadine Purdy for 18 years. If a person is listening to this interview and they're interested in um, participating in com a combo ceremony, what questions should someone ask uh, a pro combo provider before they actually sit with combo? Oh, that's a good one. That's a very good one. Um, well, I would, if it were me, I would ask them who they trained with, how long they've been serving, um, how often do you serve yourself, um, why are you serving combo, um, and I would even go as far as saying I would like to see your burn points. Because mm -hmm. if, when combo is applied, if it's burned down past the third layer, 
then it just dissipates in the system and it doesn't work as well. And then there's a thing called keloiding. So you just, you really want to know, you know, like how long have you been doing this and how much experience and why, why are you, why are you doing this? And if you're working on, you know, various different things, say you have an autoimmune disease or Lyme disease or cancer, like, have you worked with this before? You know, I see, I, I look on these boards sometimes and the questions that people are asking on these boards, it's like, well, you should really already know this, you know? Like if the person doesn't have you fill out a form and ask you about your medical history and what's going on and what type of drugs that you're on, um, you know, because there are contraindications with this medicine and not, and I'm not actually not supposed to call it a medicine. Um, <laughs> sorry. Yeah. Okay. Now here at the Natural Healing Show, one of the things that we talk about sometimes is power animals. So for example, Right recently, over the past year, I've been working with owl medicine. And, you know, I've got owls following me everywhere. And that's a whole very cool story. So when we talk about frog medicine from a shamanic point of view and from a power animal point of view, what are some of the messages of frog medicine? Oh, abundance is a big one. Um... I mean, with combo, it's such a, when you, when you encounter the combo, it's just, it's, it's joy, mm -hmm. you know, no worries. I mean, combo doesn't worry about anything. It has no natural predators, you know? Um, but I would say, yeah, abundance and, and, you know, the, what the indigenous, what the ind indigenous say is like taking away bad luck, bad karma. I mean, I've seen combo like, clearing chakras, um, you know, it's, it works on, it, it definitely works on an energetic level. And it, it's really apropos that, that I, I work with frogs because since I was a child, I was completely fascinated by them. And no, I, 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 just like when you watch a movie and they say no animals were harmed in the filming of this movie. So they, the frogs are not harmed as they share this. No, no, they're, they're, well, that's the intention that they're not harmed. I mean, because they, they, what they're, what they, what they aim to do, what they're supposed to do is just harvest the ones that, that are, that are a dark color that, that, you know, not to exhaust them and that, to let them go. But when I was in the jungle one time, I saw one of the, one of the frogs get its leg cut off when they were cutting, when they were cutting the, the string. So, you know, there is another thing that I speak out about. It's like, we can't have combo tourism and wasting your combo. And because these, you know, there are a lot of combo, combo frogs in the forest, but how long will that last? Right. Now, Nadine Purdy, again, someone listening to this show may be concerned. What are some of the contraindications with combo? Like who should definitely not be taking combo? So you, for example, mentioned if you're addicted to Xanax, which a lot of people use for sleeping, you shouldn't be doing combo. Can you give some examples for our audience about the contraindications? Yeah. So anybody with cardiovascular disease, um, stroke, brain hemorrhages, aneurysms, blood clots, extreme low blood pressure because combo does lower your blood pressure. Somebody who has, who's taking medication for blood pressure, um, low blood pressure. Um, ep epilepsy, um, Addison's disease, um, opiate addiction. I mean, you, the, the methadone, Suboxone, um, there are ways of working with that, but somebody who's not highly trained and has a lot of experience that should definitely be, they, they should not go there. Um, pregnant women, combo can, combo can cause abortion. They do use that in the, to combo for, for abortion in the jungle. Um, nursing, nursing women, um, transplants. Okay, if you had a kidney transplant and you're on, um, Immunosuppressants, I guess they're called, are the various different medications. Um, yeah, that's a big one. We don't. I've never, I've never had anyone come to me with that, but it just kind of makes sense, you know. And again, everybody's their case by case basis. So, you know, when even when somebody is coming to you with 
with Lyme disease, if they're in a flare up, you can cause, and I've experienced this, you can cause a Herx that can be, you could be down for, for, for three, wait, three weeks. And you're referring to you a know, Herx so Those are. Yeah, for exactly, our. Exactly, exactly. Which, reaction, right. which is an extreme detox reaction. Now, beneficial. Exactly, and it's not. Not fun. <laughs> no, beneficially, what can, conditions can combo assist with? Oh, there's a lot. There's definitely a lot. Autoimmune diseases, Lyme disease, uh, cancers, um, tumors, uh, skin issues. I mean, that's one of the biggest ones. Like I said, se 70 of the peptides are, are patented, um, and it's all skincare, cosmetic mm -hmm. industry. Um, hepatitis, um, Epstein-Barr, which is an autoimmune disease, various viruses, all viruses, it kills viruses. Um, you know, I, I, and, and this is just my, what, what I have witnessed is the majority of the people who has done combo with me with like a full vaccination of three within 28 days, the majority of them did not get COVID or they got it so mild, they really didn't even know that they had it. Like now am I saying, hey, go out and get combo, you won't get COVID. But I've seen it with a lot of people, a lot, over a hundred. So. Right. And I understand for our audience, you're not legally allowed to make, you know, medical claims, but we can talk yeah. about anecdotal evidence. Right. I mean, I can tell you, I, I, my, my viral load with hepatitis C is non-detectable. I no longer, when I test for Lyme disease, it doesn't show up. You know, I mean, the Epstein-Barr, again, I had a, an ANA of 275 and now it's non-existent. So That's amazing. You know, I mean, I'm walking proof that everybody's results are different as well. Now, Nadine Purdy, who you've worked with, uh, combo for 18 years. Are there different kinds of combo? Are there different varieties of the combo frog making different medicines? No, it's just male or female. Um, and they seem to be a bit different. Um, and then there is one that they claim and it's a, it's, it's, it's not ever a, 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 a combo frog that I have seen or that I've worked with that apparently it's very small and it lives on the, the top of the um, of, of the, the the covering the, the the top of the trees, the high the high and trees. The canopy of the bird, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Um, and apparently, it's only male, but I'm not even sure if this this frog really exists. So it's really just the only difference would be if you have male or female. And most of the time, with the sticks that you get, it's usually they're usually mixed. Now. Again, some of our audience may be thinking, how does combo, which comes from a frog, the combo frog, compare with plant medicines? Um, so how does combo compared with ayahuasca? Because you mentioned when you were going through your own healing process, you drank ayahuasca and also used combo. No, it's very different. Combo is not psychoactive, but not that, um... I've had visions on combo and I've had many clients have vision as, visions on combo, but it is not psychoactive. Like I have literally, uh, I was in a Meridian therapy training with combo and um, I passed out <laughs> and nobody really knew that I was passed out. And I went into this kind of dream state and I, I literally had visions of thousands of frogs. Um, and I have other people who receive messages and, and various different things, but in, in general, it is, it's not psychoactive. And so ayahuasca is an anthenogen and also very healing mentally, physically, and spiritually. But it, when you're drinking ayahuasca, and for me, um, you know, I've, with ayahuasca, I've studied with lots of tribes and I lived in Peru and I've lived in the Amazon. For me, the ayahuasca that I drink is Santo Daimi, which is only leaf and vine, which is what ayahuasca is made out of. But most of the tribes have their own brew and they put, they put various other plants in, 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 in their brew. Um, but combo is not really a, um, a meeting with the divine, with your higher self in a sense. 
you know, combo clears energies and can help heal the physical body. Um, you know, it's kind of like a, like a little electrician that goes in and, 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 and fixes things, you know, um, energetically very, very much so. And physically, um, with, when, when you're talking about psychoactive, um, plants, they work wonderfully in tandem because when the, the combo is cleaning you out and giving you a reset, and then you drink these spiritual medicines and, you know, you go on, you know, everybody's experience is different, but you really go on a journey in order to, to, to receive, to download, to, to, to meet your higher self. Now, what is the difference? How would you compare, because you've had 18 years of experience, combo medicine from the frog with a boga, which is the strongest plant medicine in the world. So how would you ex compare those two experiences? Wow. I mean, Iboga, <laughs> this is, this is, this is, uh, well, let's see. Iboga answers a lot of questions. Um, it's very grounding and it's, a, it's in a, I mean, I, I flooded several times and I, and, I, and I do work a lot with Iboga and we do like microdosing protocols and things like that. But Iboga is really like unanswered questions. Um, it, it shows you the reasons why you do your patterns, the reasons why you do things. Um, you know, it's, it's really interesting because I, like in my Iboga experience, I've actually had visions with Iboga, um, but I've also had visions that weren't visions. It was just like, a knowing, you know, when I come, come out of Iboga and I'm, I'm like, right, that makes sense. This is why I do this. And now I have the chance to begin again. And I'm, you know, it's such an awareness medicine and it can be super beautiful, you know, with all of these medicines, it's presence and surrender, or it can be quite, um, challenging. What I did find with when I started do I, I do a lot of work with Iboga microdosing is that when I, I, I um, calculate, would calculate when my flare-ups would ha happen with Lyme disease. And when I would feel some flare-up coming on, I would do combo and then I would start microdosing of Iboga and the flare-ups was gone. So Iboga does also physiologically to the body as well. Like it really, it, it, it's, it's a, again, it's a threefold. That's what they may have in common is the mental, physical, and spiritual aspects of, of the medicine. Now, and Nadine Purdy, you also work with Bufo. How does combo from the frog compare with Bufo? Oh um, well, you can't go any higher than Bufo. <laughs> I mean, this is truly an experience of the everything and nothing. You, it allows you, it brings you to the space of, of, of really, I mean, the only way that I could put it is it's a meeting with your higher self and in the highest dimension that you can, can, can go to. Um, it complete perspective change. Um, you know, I, again, I never planned on working with any of these medicines and I was in Mexico and I was talked into it and, um, I received messages and, and, and visions and things that I actually went and researched on the internet because I thought I, I didn't know I was working with a toad. I thought I was, I thought it was something synthetic and time and time again, the affirmations just can't were, were coming. And the message that I received was that I was to study with this gentleman who served me the medicine who I actually didn't even like. Um, so it, 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 it gives you, so all of these medicines, it gives you such an insight of who you truly are. It helps you to remember who you truly are, that you are consciousness and form experiencing itself, that you're, we're, con um, we're always evolving. You know, um, 
and, and it gives you a conscience. And it really, I mean, it raises your integrity factor. Now, Nadine Purdy, if someone is watching this and says, okay, I want to prepare for a combo ceremony, how do you go about preparing for a combo ceremony? And what can they expect to experience in a combo ceremony? Like how long does it last? When is it over? But first of all, what do they have to do to prepare? Okay, so you should, it combo is always best in the morning so that your, your, your system is, is empty. I mean, you should really fast around six hours. Um, you hydrate, but not overhydrate, because um, there have been issues with combo. With, if somebody tells you to drink three liters of water, do not do it because it can cause something called hyponatremia, mm -hmm. which is water poisoning. Um, get your magnesium levels up, your electrolyte levels, um, bioactive cell salt are really good. And we give those to the people who come here. We make sure because most people in the Western world are very lacking in electrolytes. Um, <laughs> So I agree. We, we always make sure, you know, we're like, hey, drink coconut water, um, have eat a good diet, don't drink alcohol the night before because you will purge and it will be, it will not be pleasant. Um, just good, clean diet. Try to stay away from processed foods. And this is on a regular that you should be doing this anyway. You know, um, sugars, you know, white sugar, um, just to, 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 to be, let your body be as clean as possible so that when it comes time for the combo to work through the, your system, there's not a lot of like sludge that it, has to, that it has to work through. You never drink a bunch of water before you get here. When at the time of application, actually we don't even, we don't use water when, when we're serving combo, like for people to drink. We make a, we take papaya and we blend it up in the blender um, in the jungle, they use cassava, like yucca, um, and um, it's very, very thick, like a thick smoothie. So when, you know, combo works with, with, with liquid, you never want to do combo dry. I know there's people out there who are doing combo dry, but if you're, if you're purging and you're dry heaving and you're breaking blood vessels in your face, and it could be actually it, it, it can it can be dangerous. So what we always recommend is that you know you either make cassava water or you make papaya water because it also has all these wonderful enzymes in it, and the toxins can attach to this, and the purge is so much easier. I mean it just straight out, um, and you know everybody's reaction can be different i i you know I, I i read these things and i hear people saying oh well i didn't i didn't get a purge so the combo didn't work i didn't vomit not necessarily if we're seeing a histamine reaction um the combo is going to come out regardless but we know that your immune system is working if you get a histamine reaction right off the bat then you have an overactive immune system if you, don't get an, if you don't get a histamine reaction at all, then we have a compromised immune system. And some people we need to go very, very gently with. We always do a test point to see what your reaction is. So we, we always have you communicating with us. So, hey, what are you feeling right now? Oh, do you have pressure in your head? Um, are you having any swelling? Is your, is, your, is, is your heart beating a little bit? Are you, you know, you could get, actually get some swelling in the throat. So we, we, you know, works, combo works wonderful with the thyroid, especially Hashimoto's, you know, so that we know to back it off a little bit. Like we don't just do, you know, there's, there's people out there who do the in, indigenous way that one of the tribes, five, seven, nine dots, put it all at one time. This is, this, this could be dangerous. Like we want to get as much of the medicine in as possible. We don't want to throw it on because there are people can pass out. You know, you put a whole bunch on and then you're wiping it off, which is what wasting the combo. And it's also not going through the system. And that's what our goal is. Now, final question, Nadine Purdy. Uh, what can a person expect to feel after a combo ceremony? Your skin will glow. Um, I, I, I actually, we worked with, and I have photographs of this. It was just a miracle. Um, we had we had one young lady who lives down here who had this rash on her hands, and it kind of looked like um, uh, um, oh, I can't remember I can't remember the name of the of, of the the autoimmune disease, um, but.
but nobody could tell her what it was. She tried everything and it was so painful for her. She came here, she did three combo and it went away. Like when it, it gives you, it, they use it in the jungle for hunting. So you'll have lots of energy. You'll feel really good. You'll feel very clear. Um, if you were like, were kind of a bit like it could help with, with, with like depression, let's say, um, just an overall sense of, of well-being. Wonderful information. You've been listening to Catherine Kerrigan, medical intuitive healer, Amazon number one best-selling author and host here of the Natural Healing Show for UK Health Radio. Um, definitely sign up for my newsletter so you can learn even more about how you can heal yourself naturally. Visit me on YouTube and watch our videos for the Natural Healing Show. Our guest today has been Nadine Purdy, 18-year experienced master healer with Combo, the frog medicine. Nadine Purdy is the founder of Combo Casita in Costa Rica, She's a plant medicine facilitator and teacher, and you can find out more about Nadine Purdy and her wonderful work at her website, cambocasita.com. And remember, you can heal yourself naturally. All you have to do is listen to your body and follow your inner guidance to what is right for you. Thanks so much for listening, and we'll see you next time.